Hello, Facebook friends. It's me, Barbara, with Barbara Wiley Art. Today we're doing a church. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies. We're doing a church today. And this is the picture. It's kind of a rustic picture today. If I can get this whole thing in here. There we go. <coughs> it's kind of rustic. It's just some lines, a house. It's like drawing a house, basically. It's not hard to do. With a few trees on either side, they're real easy. But it makes a nice little piece for your home during the Easter time. Now, I've already guessed my board is 11 by 14 canvas. 11 by 14, I'm doing it the long way. And you can go ahead and buy a thick canvas like this one that's two inches thick. You can get this um, either online or over at the Hobby Lobby or somewhere else like that, or Michael's, somewhere else like that. And so you don't have to worry about a frame. I often paint on those bigger ones, so I don't have to worry about a frame. So that's just one thing that you can do. So the first thing that we're going to do, let me get you all set up here because you don't be, need to look at me. You need to be looking at the picture. Just a little closer here. There we go. Okay, so first of all, we have our colors. We have titanium white. Let me put on my glasses so I can see them better. We have lemon yellow. We're going to be using Viridian. We're also going to be using light purple. We're also going to be using warm gray. We've been using a lot of that warm gray so much so that I went out, well, that's not the, the gray, this is the neutral gray. That's the warm gray is a different one. All right, so well, then we're gonna be using the burnt umber and phalo blue, which makes a beautiful sky and other things, but we're not gonna be using it for sky, we're gonna be using the this one, the Viridian today for the sky. And we're going to be using grass green. And silver for the walkway. I liked silver for the walkway. You can use gray if you like. And raw umber for the trees. So those are our colors today that we're going to be using. I've already Primed it, it's all ready to go. Um, so we'll get started. You'll need um, a ruler and you'll need a small ruler. Let me get the paint brushes out. Okay, so here are the brushes that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using a wide angular. This is a um, Well, I think it says a four, but you can see how big that is. We're going to be using that for the building. You'll be using a smaller angular. I've got so much paint on the handles and stuff, I can't really tell. But it's that size. It's like a quarter of an inch. And then a medium angular. So you got kind of a small, medium, and large angular group here, if you can see. Small, medium, and large. And then a script brush. And this one is 18-0. And this is the little one that I kind of like to use to do, uh, this is a spotter, a 20-0 spotter that I've been using a lot. And I like to use that to paint my initials in there sometimes or do just a tiny little bit of touch up when I need it. 
So there are the brushes. So um, we're going to start with our ruler and we're going to lay in the base. Now on this one, you can do it any way you want. I did about four inches from the bottom. So I'm going to do that again, and I'm gonna make a mark up here at the top with my chalk, because chalk works well. It always brushes away. So you're just gonna make a line all the way across with the chalk. See my line about four inches from the bottom going all the way across okay so now the next thing is you want to lay in the sides and it looks to me like again I've done it about four inches about four inches from either side so we're gonna make some marks about four inches from the sides dog hair everywhere because she thinks it's good for you. Okay, so I just made some lines going up and now we're just going to actually measure those lines to see how far they did go. These are about five and a half inches each. About five and a half inches. See, with the chalk, you can just use your finger and erase <laughs> what you don't need. Okay, so there's the outside of the church. And then it goes to a point I've got to find the middle. say this was 11 by 14 I meant 16 by 20. I'm not sure I said it right. So 10 is going to be about the midpoint if it's a 16 by 20. So I can just do that and that's going to be about correct. And then I'm going to make my line going from that point to that point. There we go. And the line going from that point to that point. That works out pretty good. All right, now then, that's the outer church. That's what that looks like, if you can see my chalk. Now I'm going to go 
to the inside of the, and it is inches. It's about two and seven eighths inch, two and three quarters inches in. Two and three quarters inches inside, not outside. About that. Okay. And so I'll just make some lines going up and erase them as I need to. There's one line going up. Just kind of eyeball it and make it real straight. I kind of look over here and make sure it's lined up with that line. That's a pretty good line. All right, so we need this to be about four and a half inches tall. About four and a half. So I don't need this part up here. See how that works? Pretty easy. And down here, we need that about four and a half inches tall. All right. Now I need, I've got my middle point. I just need to know how far down I need to come. So that's about two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. all of it will come off. A little bit of trouble here for some reason. get all that erased off in just a minute. Okay, so now we've got the inner one. Now we're gonna do the door. So the door is about an inch and a half in. On either side. I hope you go to church on Sunday. I do. Church is a good thing. There's that. And these go up. 
about four and a half inches. four and three quarters. I don't know how I got that messed up. I'll get this right. That's better. Four and three quarters goes to there. And this is four and a half here. Four and a half. It's about two inches down. The little door is about two inches down. From that point, There we go. So we've got the rough outlet outline now from this mark here. We're going to make a curved line right like that. So something pretty for the yard. Like that. That's the basic outline of our church. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now we're all set up. I've got my paint set up. I've got my Viridian blue right there, and I've got some white. And we're going to use sponge background again. I'll show you other backgrounds, but right now we're just gonna stick with the sponges. So I'm going to dab this, a little bit of white, a little bit of Viridian, and I'm gonna go through, go do the background. Just pounce, 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 like we've done in other pictures. Pounce, 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 pounce. And it makes a really interesting looking sky. Not bright blue, but pretty. The best blue for a sky is actually your phthalo blue, I think, or ultramarine. That does a pretty blue sky too, but this one's just different. Okay, I'm going to pounce away and do my background. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got it blocked in, and now I'm gonna go over with a second coat, and I'm going to make sure to get the edges done, like I did on this one. I'm gonna make sure I get them all the way down to the end. See, I didn't get the edges all the way down there. So you gotta get those edges like that. So. I'm going to go over it again and get that background just the way we want it to look. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've got the background in and I've painted the sides, you can see. And we're going to dry that. Let me get my hair dryer before we do anything else.
blowing. All right, so put my sponge in the water for now. All right, so what we have left is just the church and the grounds. And I'll be back in a minute to show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so the next thing we're do is we're gonna pick up this wide angle brush. I can't really see. Anyways, it's that wide angle brush and some white paint. And we're going to paint in the walls. As you can see from our sample, we're going to have quite a bit of white in here. You can leave it if you want to, just the canvas. I like to paint mine in. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Painting, painting that white in. And I've used a big brush so I can cover area pretty easy. So I'm just gonna cut that staying inside my lines. I want my lines. I went to the trouble to draw lines. I wanna keep the lines if I can, if I can. I just think it looks a little bit more professional, a little bit more finished, but you don't have to paint in here. You can get away with just leaving the white canvas if you want to. So you can see that I'm just covering a wide area without erasing my chalk lines. Uh, you can leave the door, probably. You can put a light coat on there if you want to, but we're gonna be painting that brown. So the next part is the inside right there. which this wide paintbrush just about fits in there. So it makes kind of quick work of it. Now, if you look back at an angle, you can see the places where you might have missed. And I'm kind of looking back, kind of scrunching down and looking back, and you can see the light will shine in on the places where you missed. So kind of scrunch down and take a look at it and see where you might have missed. Get that filled in nicely. And I'll be back in a minute with the rest. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have a little problem right over here. One of my doggy's hairs got in my painting. Now I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way in just a minute to get that out. Okay, so here's my, using my tweezers. part of it, it broke on me. Part of it's plastered down with the paint. There we go, I got it moving around. I say quick and easy, I'm not able to get, there we go. 
There's <laughs> my hair. Right there. Okay. So we're ready to move on now. We've gotten it all. We want to use the brown raw umber or you could probably use a paint pen. These are black. I don't want to use black. If you had a brown paint pen, which I have somewhere, um, you could actually outline with brown paint pen or you could just paint a brown. This is raw umber, the dark brown. And use that. I think it's the dark brown. what I was looking for raw umber raw and I'm going to be using my script brush this is the little small script brush got everything nice and dry so I'm not going to be getting it on my sleeve hopefully <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to line the sides of this church. You see what I'm doing? Just making a nice straight line, just resting my hand right here on the edge of the canvas to keep from jiggling. Everybody jiggles to one degree or another. Some have a steadier hand than others. So I'm going to make my lines. I'm going to fill in here, up to the top, and around the side. And I'll be right back. Okay, I have the church basted in all the way around. And I forgot to tell you, I'm not doing a steeple on this one, because in this picture there wasn't enough room, really. I just added it in there. It's just kind of an afterthought. This one I thought I would take it up to the top and be done with this the little cross on the top, it just didn't fit in. So I've done these all the way around, and now we're gonna do the inside doors. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've got my church outlined up. Like I said, I did away with the steeple and brought it up to the top this time, just because there's really no room on the top anyways, and there's gonna be a nice big cross right here in the front. So I put my little eaves in. I just kind of sketched them in a bit so I know where they are. I line the out inside of the, uh, of the doorway because that's going to be a darker color than the lighter, than the middle part. So, okay, so now we're going to take that same dark color and we're going to use our smallest brush, angular brush, and we're going to do in our eaves and in the, uh, the outline of the door. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've got my little eaves painted in and I've got the frame of the doorway painted in. So the next step, I think, is going to be drying everything and then um, we'll pencil in the doorways, the windows, I mean. So let me get out the hair dryer. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready to draw in my windows now. And so I've measured and it's about three quarters of an inch up and three quarters of an inch on either side and about three and three quarters inch tall. and three quarters inch tall.
then I'm just going to round it up at the top. Just make it like a round little circle. I think I want it skinnier than that. That came out a bit too full for my taste. Chalk works really well when you're struggling to get things just right. 